Number six with cheese fans, we've got a big one for you today. Finally trying Art's Drive-In. We've gone by it 500 times on the show. Finally stopping in for a skirt steak sandwich, hard to say. <laughs> and don't forget guys, we've got the, uh, the deal going right now. Those brass bottle openers we're giving away for free for anybody who buys a shirt. So go make a shirt purchase. I don't know if there's any pocket shirts left. There might be like one or two. Might be one or two of these you can snag and get yourself a free, uh, free bottle opener along with it. So go snag it up, number six with cheese.com. All right, time to go to Arts. Bag two skirt steak sandwiches from Art's Acquired Jump Cut. We've had a few steak sandwiches on this show. Let's see right. what this one looks like. Let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, open this bad boy up. That is a juicy boy. Um, cool, get this. Oh, this looks good, bro. Wow. So we got some really, oh, that's, let's turn this way. Some really good bread, looks like. Um, covered in some lettuce, and then there's our skirt steak. It's a pretty simple sandwich. Sauce, steak, lettuce, bread. My bread has fallen apart a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll have to speed up this process so these sandwiches don't explode. <laughs> I think they just tenderize and pound the living crap out of the steak, and then they just, you know, char it up good, and then they got it on this, this bun. Like, that's what's, this one, yeah, that looks like good, wow. Okay. These were like 16 bucks. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, more than one of the more expensive things. Arts. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. It's got a good taste. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's a good steak sandwich. Mm hmm. Keep going into this bad boy. Good, like, sauce to bread to meat ratio. Like, that was a lot of sauce. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, my second bite's even better. Wow. It's not too tough to, like, Rip apart too. Sometimes with you steak sandwiches, yeah, you try to take a bite and the whole thing slides out of the bun. Right, right. Glasses issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was the mob sent to draw us to the crime scene, or sent to destroy it? Also, like since they're using like not the best cut of meat, it is like a little chewy. Like it's not going to be that like perfectly tender mm -hmm. bite that you want. But they're like the reason that you can get a monster steak sandwich like this is because they're using a little bit like cost-effective steak to That's pull it off. That's what you do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you got cheap meat, turn it into a sandwich and put some sauce on there. Mm -hmm. It's damn good though. It's a damn good sandwich. I would love this like in the middle of the day if I was popping in there for lunch and going back to work. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Try to show you. It just keeps getting at, better with every bite. It does seem to be like one of those sandwiches. Look at that nice steak bite right there. And you can get the steak however you want it. Like. If you want it rare, go do it. Like, there's five options at least on the website if you wanted to order online. Mmm, yeah, this is really good. Mm hmm. This is like a classic, like, just to look at it and the area that it's in, it's like a working man's place. Like, you can tell yeah. it's just like construction workers, blue collar folk come there, get a quick bite to eat, head out. It opens early, they probably go there for coffee in the morning mm -hmm. type of stuff, get mm -hmm. some breakfast before the job. And this sandwich, like, represents that too, I feel like. It's like, it's like a working man's meal. I think you nailed it. But nailed it. for some reason, it costs like a. <laughs> <laughs> like a, like a, it's a banker's salary. <laughs> it's a banker's salary. It's expensive. It's up there. The other stuff, though, like, you know, you want an egg and cheese sandwich, it's four bucks. Burger with yeah. fries, eight bucks. Like, this, this is, is a premier This item. is more like, yeah, the fun, kind of spend a little more item. Maybe this would be like a Friday meal. Mm -hmm. You worked hard all week, reward yourself around noon. I guess construction workers probably take lunch around 9 a.m. But aren't they working by like 4.35? Damn, this is damn good, though. It, that sauce really, mm -hmm. really does it. One of those classic Chicago counter service places. Mm -hmm. The staff is like, probably worked there forever. Everybody walking in knew the, the person working. Yep. They have everything you could imagine. Also, one of the places you can get a pizza puff, which you know I love places where you can snag like a $2 pizza puff. Mm -hmm. Somebody got one in there for lunch. Respect. <laughs> um, yeah, they just had everything. One thing I really want to explore, have you heard of this like pepper and egg sandwich craze in Chicago? No. One of the more like iconic- It sounds super like generic. Somebody commented That's recently cool. on a video and was like, you guys got to eventually try the pepper and egg sandwiches in Chicago. Okay. But they had one in there and it made me think like that'd be yeah. fun to try. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't. I didn't. That's a new. That's news to me. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever that sauce is, my God. Yeah, what is that? It's kind of got like almost looks like peppercorns in it or something. It's so good. I'd love to know what, what kind of sauce honestly. that is. Mm -hmm. This is a filling sandwich too. Mm -hmm. Arch driving. I'm thoroughly impressed. Me too. Mm. True to its name. Not too many restaurants in Chicago just has parking lots. So it was nice to be able to park and get the food. Yeah. I think we've talked about this before. I think Chicago should try to put its name on the steak sandwich more. Yeah, I'm all about that. It feels like it fits the personality of Chicago. Right. And it tastes better than the trash that they've been trying to, you know, shell out to us. Change the Italian beef to the steak sandwich. Change the Chicago style hot dog to a Maxwell Street Polish and change the pizza just entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. It's not pizza. <laughs> well, like you said, like if you get a good tavern style, that's like not bad. Yeah, if you can go to the one place, that does it right. <laughs> you know, Nick, if you can drive down to the south side. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Guys, don't forget, like and comment, and uh, and give us a little uh, subscribe, man. That'd be awesome, help the video out. Mm -hmm. What should we do for uh, for a comment today? Like, my gut instinct is something like, what's the like best sauce you've had on a sandwich? Because that oh. sauce was so unique. It was so unique. Like, yeah, what is the best sandwich sauce? What's the best sandwich sauce? And I'm looking for, don't don't be throwing mayo out there, bro. Like, right. I want something unique, something different. Like, oh, there's this place, I don't even know what it is. Right. But uh, Freddy's in my hometown mm -hmm. has this little white cream sauce that gets me going, bro. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I would love to know that, because we're also a sauce channel. We'll really appreciate love that. Love sauces. Okay, let's go ahead and rate that uh, out of five. Art Vandelay. Art Vandelay. Yeah, Art Vandelay. He's an importer exporter. <laughs> How many Art Vandelays do you give the $16 skirt steak sandwich Art's drive in Corey? So that was great. The price is like obviously a little bit r ridiculous. I feel like I wouldn't go there mm -hmm. and spend that amount for that. But then again, that taste is so good. It's so Chicago. I mean, if I'm going to spend 15, 20 bucks on a burger, I don't know. Can I really say like, oh, I wouldn't do it for that? I, it feels a little hypocritical of me, so I think I gotta kind of forget about the price for a second and just like really focus on how delicious that was. I thought it was great, like really one of the tastiest things I've had in the city, that the flavor profile of it was amazing. And I like that the steak, you could bite through it. It wasn't like, although a little bit chewy because it's cheaper meat, not that rough, nasty yeah. crap that you get a lot of times. I feel like that's what I get with the stir skirt steak sandwiches, so. Big, big thumbs up on that. I'm giving it a 4.3. I thought it was yeah. really, 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 really good. I'm right there with you. I'm just taking points off for price. Yeah. I think I think that that sandwich, and granted, we don't work in restaurants. We don't know the price of meat right now. Who knows if that sandwich used to be a lot cheaper before 2020? Yeah. I don't know. But right now, I think that sandwich should more so fall in the $10, $11 range. Like for, but I'm gonna call that the Friday treat yourself sandwich. Friday treat yourself. I'm not getting that Monday to Thursday. No. Nope. I'm gonna get that Friday, even though you're watching this on a Wednesday and that kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> but we're food reviewers. I'm gonna go 4.25. There you go. I was thinking, I was like, I'm gonna take a 0.75 off and then call that a fantastic sandwich. Uh -huh. so what is the sauce that you love the most on a sandwich? Hit us with that in the comments and we'll chat sauces today. Art's nice job. Go get the bottle opener with any shirt purchase and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, another local spot here in Chicago. So keep rocking with us. Thanks for being here. We love you.